Probably down. No, I'm going up. Okay. <laughs> it was on 67 when I came in. Oh, my goodness. I was feeling very good, but I knew y'all were going to be cold. So I kicked it up to 70 or 71. Thank you. <laughs> How's everybody this morning? Good. Well, it's good to see y'all. Anybody seen my wife? I saw her earlier. <laughs> She's in the car. Maybe she was going to a better church. <laughs> there ain't no better. You're in trouble now. <laughs> Uh, just the first, uh, just a few reminders. Our church council meets tomorrow night at six o'clock. Encourage everyone to come that wants to be a part of it. Uh, ladies' meeting for the pizza and fellowship in the Family Life Center on Tuesday. And Miss Joy, you got something? Yes, I need a head count and a five dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll give her the head count. <laughs> Somebody else give her the five dollar bill. All right. Raise your hand. If you think you're coming for the Tuesday dinner, pitch and all, you gotta enjoy it too. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Hmm, 13, 14, Joy, looks like. Thank you. All right. Uh, the Tops meeting Wednesday morning at 8.30. And our first session of Divorce Proof Your Marriage is going to begin at the Family Life Center at 6 o'clock. Now, we need to have a short meeting to get you your material uh, for this. We'll just meet briefly in the, the building here. So if you are a part of that. We need you to come and get your material to begin for Wednesday, so you'll have plenty of time to read all that by Wednesday, Glenn. Uh, our checkout for the year end is uh, Thursday. Jenna's been working tremendously hard on this. We appreciate her doing that. And then, uh, men's breakfast on the 14th. Anything special? Just like to see all the guys show up. Right. Uh, 8 o'clock, Richie's. Yeah, the Agenda is generally a lot of talking, a good breakfast, and a little more talking, yeah. and then a little more talking. If you're where you can be there about 8 o'clock, come and be with us. We'd love to have you at Richie's. Praise and Gospel Night on the 16th. you have anything, Joe? Indeed. We have uh, J.T. Mullinax, the esteemed Trails Country Treasure winner a few years ago, a super fiddler, a great bluegrass singer. We have Gene Allen and the County Line Bluegrass Band from Quitman. Uh, Gordon Schultz, a great vocalist, also from Quitman. And we have uh, Mike Gunn from uh, up toward Mount Vernon, great vocalist who's been here several times. And finally, last but not least, George Jordan, the original Tennis Chapel Troubadour. You're never going to live that down, are you, George? No, or, up or up to it. <laughs> <laughs> Native American on the 21st uh, at 7 o'clock. And the residents encounter Christ. This team, the management team, is meeting in the Family Life Center on the 23rd from 9.30. Anything else? Uh, trustees meet after service either here in the chapel or depending on the length of your meeting, Jim. Okay. Yeah. We're not going to be with just a few minutes. Yes, ma'am. Did you mention the council meeting tomorrow night? Or? Yes. Okay. We had prison uh, training yesterday in the Life Center, and that was not just for REC. It was for any type of prison ministry in the area, and we had about 70 people over there yesterday. It was really a good turnout, and then uh, we have a love offering of $155 from that group of people for the church. Put that toward our pizza. Anybody else? Anything exciting? Anything you we've overlooked this morning? Oh well, you know I I see them and it's just you know it's just automatic. But of course we are thrilled uh, that the family is here and that Billy is doing so well and. Looks good. I wanted to say you something. You want to say something? Yeah. All right. I just want to say thank you to everyone for the concerns and prayers. It means a lot to us, and me especially. 
because it was a really hard time. But hearing that y'all were supportive about it was really nice. So thank you all. Thank you. The, uh, the family, every time we would do something for them, were most appreciative. And I know that you know that or realize that, but um, they really went through some tough times for a little while and some uncertainties. And so uh, we're, we're certainly glad to see Millie here and the mm -hmm. smile yeah. on her face. And, uh, you know, we just. She just, just looks good. She does. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't look like there's ever been a problem, does she? Yeah. Thank you, Oscar. Father, we thank you for a great and glorious morning. We thank you for a wonderful time as we come to worship you. We just come into your presence, Father, and we just, uh, we just acknowledge that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. And we just thank you for all that you do for us. We thank you for the blessings you share with us as families. Thank you for the blessings that you share with us as a church in this community. Father, just pour out your Spirit upon us. May we feel your presence. It's in your precious and holy name that we pray. Amen. Would you stand with us as we begin our service?
like somebody was walking on the palms of my hands. I could feel them. It's about surrender. It's about acknowledging that He's Lord of Lords. And you can feel His presence. And I believe the Lord is in our presence Amen. right now. What a day. What a day it can be. Every Saturday night, Mary and I, she's got her where she's at. I'm praying for her. Thank you right now. But every Saturday night, we pray for something exciting to take place in our service. For something exciting for someone to realize or to know, or, or maybe it's not even known, the experience of Jesus Christ. And we pray for that every day, every Saturday night for it to be experienced here the next morning. And we all are part of the experience. Anything good and exciting you want to share? Any need for prayer you want to lift up? I have something exciting. We have a young man amongst us that has made the youth orchestra. He's going to Tyler this afternoon. He's very nervous because he has qualified to be in the youth orchestra. At Tyler today, aren't you, Adam? <laughs> That's pretty good, buddy. That's awesome. That is pretty good. What time does all this take place? Two to four. Two to four. Yeah, every Sunday we'll be heading from church to there now for rehearsals. Uh, oh my. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Anything else? <laughs> we decided. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. Anybody else? What's exciting? What's happening? What's what's in need of prayer in your life? This is a new year. What's going on? Uh, Leaf was really sick Thursday. High fever. And that's the first time he's had, you know, issue. But it was his ear and I got it taken care of. Just run, run like crazy. Doesn't take them long to recover, oh. does it? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Our youngest daughter will have the left thyroid. Left thyroid. Left thyroid. Left thyroid. Left thyroid.
Oh, that's so right, I forgot that. And she said that uh, she blistered underneath her makeup. So that's never <laughs> happened. <laughs> she was in Belize and I don't know where else, but um, she may have acted safely. So she said she will be here next Sunday. Good, great. Father, you are so good to us. You bless us with a with a family that surrounds us, cares for us, and helps us in every time of need or every situation. We give you thanks for the Oliveira family being in our midst, for them to be a part of our family. Thank you for for the outcome, for, for the results, what has taken place in Millie's life, for the, for the faith that she had, for the radiance that she had in her, on her face. We just give you thanks, Father. Thank you for working in their lives in such a special way. We pray for Ms. Frankie's daughter. She anticipates his thyroid surgery. And we just pray that things go well, that, that you guide these doctors as they work. That there be no serious complications. And things will, things will be done for your glory and your honor. We give you thanks that leaf is better. We pray when, when our children, our young, young families, excel and are off at conferences. And we just thank you for what what's taking place in, in Jim's life and Jim's family. We thank you, Father, for just allowing us to share another day. Just to be a part of life for a little while. Father, we just ask your peace and your patience and your comfort and your compassion to just flow over us. We thank you, Father, that Shirley is back home safely, that, that she had a great time and just enjoyed those days, but we will look forward to seeing her again. Thank you for the blessings. But most of all, Father, we thank you for your son. We cannot, we cannot do enough just to say thank you. And Father, I don't want to forget Adam. I don't want to forget what's going on in that young man's life. We look and see this, this just young man, and we wonder where he'll be in 15 or 20 years. Thank you for the gift that you've given him. Just bless his life. All of this, Father, in your Son's precious and holy name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's take our morning off. <laughs>
Man, a couple of almost get excited back there now. <laughs> Let's watch you get on. And Carl, I remember Jason as we sat down. We just pray that his days here would be, would be blessed and with his family and, and his days to come. We'll talk with the young people, those who would like to come up for a moment. I got something the other day. Mary, Mary encouraged me to buy it. You know when kids bring stuff to you that like they're selling for school and fundraisers, you know, you almost have to buy them. And this was a young man from Harmony. Army school, and he brought this out and had this all this pack. There's uh, Applebee's and CC's and Jersey Mike's and Sonic's and uh, I can't believe that one. All, all kind of stuff, but they are for Longview and Gilmer. Now I want to give y'all some of these if you go to Longview or Gilmer. Do you, as a family, go to Longview or Gilmer? Where do you go to? The mall. How about if I give you those? Who else goes to Longview? And I want y'all to use them. Anybody else? Where else you go? You ever go to Longview? Everybody get something? 
Did you get something, Jake? Okay, okay. Oh, everybody got something. All right. I just wanted to, to give y'all those, hoping that y'all will use them. They're paid for. They're bought. Doesn't cost you anything to get a free drink or a free chips and queso or a salsa rita or whatever it is. An oil change and chicken. And, I mean, it's just a free gift. And they're there if you'll use it. If you don't use it, then they're not going to be any good, are they? <laughs> so it must be used. Do you know there was somebody else that gave you something? And it was already bought. And it was paid for. And all we had to do was use it. Amen. No charge. It didn't cost us anything. <coughs> you know who that was? Say it all at one time on three. One, two, three. Jesus. Jesus. Bought and paid for. And he's done the same for you and I. It's free. Salvation is free. But we have to use it. We have to claim it. Okay? Anybody want to say a prayer? I had thought about letting the, the person who was fifth in line pray this morning. I don't, I don't know why I was thinking of number five. The one with the scared look, you think you're number five? Now? One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's Cassie. That's you. I'm not going to make you pray. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Father, I thank you for these young people. I thank you for, for just allowing them to be in our presence. And I just pray that you bless their lives. You just encourage them and use them in any way. And Father, I just thank you for their homes. Bless them in your son's name. Amen. 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 She's getting, she's not so bashful anymore. Did mom tell you to get some for her? No. <laughs> but did she say thank you? Mom, you have to stand with her. You have to turn with her child. Somebody did like her.